So you have read through the four gospels. You have counted the cost of what it actually means, what it's gonna cost you to be a disciple. And you've even gone to the step of forsaking all that you own. You've forsaken everything. So what is the next step? What is the next thing you should do in your walk in Christ? I'm gonna be answering that question in this video. So please stick with this, because I think you'll learn a lot. All right, so for those of you who don't know, this is actually the fifth video in this series about how to live by faith. And so if you've not yet seen any of those other videos, I really want to recommend that you check them out first to put what I'm going to say here into better context for you. So you can do that by checking out one of the links on the screen. Now, we know that Jesus had this very unique teaching that says that we can't work for, we can't serve both God and money at the same time. He said that we end up cheating one of those two masters, right? And so he said for us not to even worry about our material provision, but rather to first seek the kingdom of heaven and then all these things will be added unto us. So for us as believers, the concept or the idea of working for money, working for ways to get money is just not in the question. So that said, even though we are not supposed to go and work for money and not to work for a wage, we still need to do something. We still, you know, the whole concept of serving God is, is literally to work for God, you know? We need to actually do something to attract His provision into our lives. And so the real question is, what should we be doing? The answer to that question that I want to put forward for you today is that what we really need to do with our time, with our lives, if we want to serve God as Christians, is simply to use our time and our energy to preach the gospel. You know, that's what Jesus actually commanded us to do at the Great Commission, you know, before he ascended up to heaven. He said, go and preach the gospel to all the earth, teaching people to observe the things that I have taught, right? So we're, we're trying to preach to people to obey the teachings of Christ. And so even when we look at uh, other parts of the New Testament, we look at the Acts of the Apostle, we study the epistles of the Apostle Paul, we get godly counsel even from other uh, apostles that are encouraging us to engage in that work of preaching the gospel. So that really needs to be our focus as believers. Now, the truth is that there is no real limit uh, to the number of ways that we can go about that commission to preach the gospel, right? Uh, especially because of the, the digital age that we live in with the use of the internet. Um, you could blog, you could make use of social media to engage with an audience there, you could create videos, um, you could do a podcast. There are literally just like a plethora of different options that you could choose from um, in order to reach people with your message. In fact, the hardest part is simply finding an audience that actually wants to hear what you have to say and that will listen, right? Of course, the challenge with all these options to preach the gospel that I've just mentioned here is that they do require some sort of material resources, right? Uh, in order to even uh, use a computer to edit videos, for example, or, or to create a blog, uh, or to, to have the internet at your fingertips to engage with social media, um, a lot of those things do require material resources. And so if you've literally just forsaken all that you own and you're starting very new in your walk, that may not be the best option. Um, so we need to explore what are some alternative ways that don't require so much in the way of material things in order to still accomplish that goal and sort of in order to still preach the gospel right because we don't have to have these other tools to preach there are other ways so my advice to you especially if you're new in your Christian walk uh, you've recently forsaken your possessions and you want to go about the commission of preaching the gospel without feeling weighed down by a lot of the material possessions that are required to do you know advanced video editing or all these kind of things uh, uh, don't worry about it all that just get out there on the streets and street witness you know that's that's one of the most that's how I started personally and I think it's still one of the most effective ways to reach people with the message um, it doesn't require an expensive laptop it doesn't require you know um, a huge internet providing uh, service you don't have to have all these fancy gadgets all you need is your time and your energy and a burning desire to reach people with your message hopefully you also have the power of the Holy Spirit to to empower you to be a more effective witness but as far as material things go you don't really need all those things to still get out there and to witness to people personally um, you could do it at a shopping center you can go to the like in the Bible you read about them going to the markets to reason right the Apostle Paul even Jesus himself and so the modern-day equivalent could be going to your local Walmart or standing outside of an Audi supermarket and um, witnessing to the people as they come out of the store um, there's just a number of different options to reach people on the streets where they're at the main thing is not to feel like you have to have all these material things in order to do the job when you don't there are other ways that you can do it if you just make an effort 
And as you go about this task, don't be shy about asking people if they can contribute to your work. You're not working for money. You've sold all your possessions. You are living by faith in Christ. And Jesus actually taught freely give, freely receive. You know, the Apostle Paul said that if we give something spiritual to people, it is totally uh, okay for us to receive something material in return. And so as you share the message, uh, if you want to create your own little track that you witness to people with, you can ask them to, to give you a few cents donation to support your cause so that you continue you to do the work of the Lord. Um, so don't be afraid to ask for help um, as, as you go about your mission. Now, of course, as you go about, you know, the work of preaching the gospel on the front line, as they say, when you're out there literally engaging with the, the public in mass, you can expect that not everyone's going to appreciate the message you have to share. Uh, in fact, you can expect some persecution according to what Jesus himself said. And so you need to be braced for that. You need to have the inner strength that is willing to even rejoice in that persecution for the sake of the Lord, uh, for the sake of Jesus, right? And not to be dismayed by it when it comes. In fact, you need to expect it in, in many ways. Uh, so don't let that uh, stop you from, from fulfilling that calling of preaching the gospel. Rather expect it, learn to embrace it, and learn to rejoice in it. Now, one helpful tip in this regard is to try to see if you can link up with at least one other Christian, one other person who's also interested in living by faith, because they can actually provide you with support and encouragement when the times get tough, uh, maybe when you feel a little less than inspired yourself, or even if you come up against persecution, having at least one other person there to support you and kind of you know lift you up in those scenarios can be quite helpful. And so you don't need a big group, you don't need to join a, a large church or organization, uh, but even just one other person, whether it's a friend, whether it's a spouse, someone that's also interested in serving God and living by faith, if you can work together with them, you'll find that you're probably much more effective in carrying out your mission. So there you have it, guys. That is the fifth uh, step, I guess you could say, in this series about how to live by faith, and that is to simply get busy with actively working for God, with actually serving God, and that means actually doing something. And I would uh, like to encourage people to focus on that activity of preaching the gospel in particular, because that is what we've been commissioned to do, okay? That is that is what the world needs to hear, and it's one of the greatest ways to actually show real love is to give people a message that they need, and that was going to actually benefit and add a, a huge amount of not, not material value, but spiritual value to their lives, right? And so that's what we want to do. And so uh, if you want any encouragement with that, uh, I personally have done it in a few different countries for uh, over a decade now. And my friends and I, we would love to help you with that mission. Uh, so if you do want to engage in that activity, please feel free to write to the email address on the screen. And God bless. Keep seeking the kingdom. God bless.